Alright, hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a little bit something different. We're gonna be actually be talking about Black Ops 6 again because we're about nine days away from the release of Black Ops 6 next Friday in about a week and a half's time. We're going to be seeing Black Ops 6 hit live servers for the first time. It's gonna hit release. I'm, I'm hoping to go absolutely crazy and I'm really hoping to finish the camo grind in a timely manner. Right here we have a article from Detonated.com. Detonated is a Call of Duty news source that I use on Twitter and I actually go to their website from time to time. I don't know how reliable they have been in terms of other games. I don't even know if they do other games, but I know for a fact their Call of Duty news has been very very reliable and i just want to talk about this we have all of the weapons confirmed for campaign multiplayer and zombies and then we have the confirmed weapons list these are all the weapons that were in the beta so if you guys don't know this list make sure you go and check this out because i'm not going to be covering this specific list so if we go to the full weapons list right here it says about a year and a half ago possibly longer a leaked details list of every single weapon that is supposedly coming to trix next game has surfaced this list is fully subject to change some of the some of them may not be available at the launch window they could be saved for a dlc or outright canceled so we're going to be breaking down the list up category by category. Also note some of the confirmed weapons mentioned earlier are listed here as well, but the rest of the list is unconfirmed. Weapons in bold are officially in Black Ops 6 and have been shown in either direct or lead gameplay or anything like that. So for the we have a good long list of assault rifles, 12 assault rifles. We have the Colt Model 723, the SIG SG550. The SG has been actually quite a notable weapon in previous shooters, especially in Battlefield. When I had a, another YouTube channel years and years ago, I wanted to make mostly montages because I really like the hype moments and highlighting them and everything. And with that, I actually made my first ever montage that I personally made on the SG. So it's kind of a nice little weapon to see in come to Call of Duty. Set me Model L. I have no idea what this weapon is. Then we have the AS Val. I've also seen that in Battlefield as well as in previous Call of Duty titles. The M16, the SA80, the AR18, the L1A one the SAR 80, the AK-74, the XM4, and the AIMS 85. So those last three are confirmed to be in the game as we did see all of them in the beta. The rest of them are speculated and are borderline almost confirmed to be in the game. The battle rifles, we have the AEK, the SG-542, the set me model C and the foul. The AEK is disgusting. If it's the high rate of fire variant that I'm thinking of uh, in Battlefield, this game was fantastic. And I'm really hoping that translates over to Call of Duty. Again, another SG is coming in. I I'd love to see it. I'm really, really happy to see the SG getting some love in Call of Duty. And the foul is just a classic across almost any shooter. So I'm really happy to see that coming back. I really do miss the foul, especially from Black Ops 2. So I'm hoping that this makes a return and it's nice and solid. In the SMGs, we have the Jepard PDW, the Fame SAF, the MP5, the SR3, Imbel MD1, the Grendel R31, the SR3 MP, the PP90, the Colt 9mm, the C9, the Tento 22, and the Jackal. So the last three are confirmed as we saw them in the beta. I'm surprised there's no P90. Now, I don't know if the PP90 and the P90 are same weapons with different names, but I find that hard to believe considering we've had the FN Foul in previous Call of Duty titles and it's called the FN Foul in this game. So I really wish the P90 was in this game. Also, the C9 is actually the MP5. So I don't really know what the difference in the C9 versus the MP5 will be. We'll have to wait for the full release. The last time there was a PDW in a Black Ops game, at least I remember, was the PDW in Black Ops 2. That thing pre-patch was an absolute monster, so curious to know how this PDW will stack up. In the shotguns, we have the Mossberg 500, the Bullpup Mossberg 500, the CBC Model SB12, the Rottweil Skeet Olympia 72, the Remington Model O level, and the Marine SP. The Marine is in the game as we saw from the beta, and the rest of them are just speculated. The Remington and the Olympia coming into the game just shows so much promise. It, give, it fills me with nostalgia. Two Mossberg variants in the shotgun category does concern me. It seems like they're kind of just filling the space. Obviously, one one shotgun is going to be performed better than the other doing certain things, but with how many attachments seem to be in the game, I find it hard to believe that you couldn't just make the Mossberg 500 just a bullpup variant. In the LMG category, we have the AR-10, the PU-21, the KSP-58, the KSP-58D, and the XMG. The XMG is confirmed to be in the game as we saw it in the beta, and the two KSP variants, same thing that goes along with that as well as the Mossberg. If they are two different things but in the same category, I find it hard to believe with it with the amount of attachments they have that you couldn't just make one of them on your own. As well as the other LMGs, I am not sure what to expect, but I am really excited to see them. It sounds like something's brand new. In the marksman rifle category, we have the AM16 MK12 SPR, the IMI Ramat, the Belgian MK2 Sniper, 
the SVU Dragunov, the Accuracy International AE, the SR25 PSD, the SWAT 5.56, and the DM10. So the SWAT and the DM are guaranteed to be in the game as we saw them in the beta, the rest of them are for speculation. Dragunov making a return, I think, I see it's been kind of downgraded from a sniper rifle to a marksman rifle, so it could be better, it could fit more into that category, and it could be a better weapon overall, because in the sniper rifles, it just never got used, but in the marksman rifle category, it may get used quite a bit. As well as for the rest of them, the SR25 sounds familiar, but unfortunately, I I don't recognize them like when I think of it I don't think of something that comes to mind but the name sounds familiar as well as the S the MK12 SPR also sounds familiar but in terms of the rest of them I don't know what to expect I don't recognize them then in the sniper rifles we have the SR25 the PGM Ultima Ratio PGM Hakate 2 the L96 the SVD and the LR762 the LR and the SVD are guaranteed to be in the game as we saw them in the beta if the L96 comes back and it is anything like its Black Ops 1 counterpart this is going to be such a phenomenally good sniper rifle I'm really hoping this is just an insanely good gun. I want snipers to be competitive but not dominant. I want assault rifles to be competitive but not dominant. Same thing with SMGs, same thing with shotguns. I want them all to find a lot of use but not be just dominant forces. And if the L96 comes back, I think sniper rifles have a really good third choice. In the pistols, we have the HNK USP 9mm, now our 19mm, and the HNK USP 0.4. We have the Makarov PM, the Stechkin AAPS, the Grendel P30, the 5.7, the Beretta 9mm, or M9, excuse me, the GS45, and the 9mm PM. The last two, the GS45 and the 9mm, are going to be in the game, as we saw them in the beta. The rest of them are just left up to speculation. Pistols are typically pretty powerful in Call of Duty, all things considered, so I'm not, I haven't really got much to say here other than these pistols could be insane. Again, going down that same alley, I don't see, other than it being a different ammo choice, I don't see why we couldn't make these. Um, in the launcher, or in the launchers, we have the Panzerfaust 3, the FIM-92 Stinger, and the Sega 28. The Sigma 28 is in the beta, so we know it's guaranteed. As well as the other two, I, I really hope these launcher challenges aren't a pain in the fucking ass. Um, with Vanguard, we had a there was a really big issue where killing certain killstreaks and nobody was running the killstreaks and nobody was getting them. And just, it made the challenges insanely hard, as well as it made the game kind of miserable. And then in the melee category, we have the knife, the combat knife, and the breaching tool. We've all seen these in the game. The that is all of the weapons we know that are confirmed. I am going to say this right now, right fucking now. If a lot of these weapons are just the placeholders, I'm going to be really bothered by the fact that they are placeholders just because I don't want to play the game, do all the challenges, and have a miserable time. My biggest gripe with camo challenges in the past was how just miserable the game felt to play. When I was going for Damascus, I really just did not have a whole lot of fun with it. I thought the challenges were annoying, especially the mounted challenges, so I really hope there are no mounted challenges in the game. In terms of recent Call of Duty camo grinds, other than I'd say Black Ops Cold War, Modern Warfare 3 has had the most streamlined, easy progression. I think that is just a very popular thing that people think, and I'm pretty sure it's just well known throughout the franchise that Modern Warfare 3 has just had really easy mastery camo challenges. Now, they're not as easy as some say like previous titles before we went to this new era of Call of Duty. Like Black Ops 2 was really easy and stuff like that. However, in terms of newer CODs, this is definitely up there for some of the easiest camo challenges. And on top of that, there's a bunch of stuff you can do, like doing the calling cards and such. Now, I, is that enough to incentivize me to play the game right now with all, everything amazing that's come out and how far behind I am? No. Black Ops 6 comes out in about, shit, it feels like nothing, like nine days. It is now, granted, it is going to be the longest nine days of my life while I itch for call while I itch for Call of Duty to play with all of the backlash Call of Duty has received over the over the last couple years, I really want this game to do good because not only does it also look really good, the game looks great. It looks like they listen to a lot of our feedback and it really looks like that they just basically they give a shit. But yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to say about Black Ops 6. I just wanted to really discuss the weapon list because I'm not gonna lie, every little bit of information, every crumb that I just stumble upon that is brand new to me, whether it's been out for ages or not, every little crumb that is available to me gets me more and more excited for the game. Now, granted, is it just gonna be another FPS game? Well, yeah, fucking course it is. It's fucking Call of Duty. It's not gonna change that much. The way the game felt, felt very fresh. It felt very new to me. But I'm really excited for Black Ops 6. I really, I really do plan to grind the game. Harder than I grinded Mono for 3. If that, if that's how I'm gonna do it, that remains to be seen. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also makes me know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia. Signing up for a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.